Breaking news exposing the shameless and disgusting hypocrisy of Democrats and establishment media hacks on major news networks. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish, and Republican Representative Nancy Mace just dropped a bombshell on the heads of the professional race grifters at CNN and other major news networks. Here she is exposing private text messages she received from a panelist on CNN who slandered her on live TV and painted her as a bigot. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my colleagues across the aisle said that those that, that cannot pronounce Kamala's name correctly are elementary aged children. I would like to enter into the record an article by Newsweek saying Bill Clinton pronounces Kamala Harris' name wrong during DNC speech. Bill Clinton, along with Al Sharpton, rapper Lil Jon, let's not forget that Joe Biden can't say her name right, neither can Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, and this morning on Morning Joe, Joan Bias called her a camel. So I don't wanna hear it, it's fake outrage. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody, we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says, order. I'm gorgeous in all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or, the, one or the other. Well, you know what they say, if liberals didn't have double standards, they wouldn't have any at all. Now, just in case, if you're unaware of the guy Mace is talking about, immediately after after Democrats installed their new default nominee, political hacks and pretend journalists rushed to calling anything and everything about her from the right bigoted and problematic. Here she is in a heated debate with the guy who sent her those text messages where he suggests that her and the country are bigoted because she didn't say Harris's name the way he wanted her to. Mm. Michael. <laughs> that, sounds like, that sounds like self-hatred and justification of white supremacy. And let me just say this, because this congresswoman is a wonderful human being, but, but, but when you disrespect Kamala Harris by saying you will call her whatever you want, I know you don't intend it to be that way. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just said you weren't racist. Yes, that is complete no, You don't yes. have to intend racism no, to no, accomplish No, 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 you are it. intending that Your I am racist. Your disrespect of Kamala and Harris that is, is part and parcel of a tradition. Why can't you just disrespect? Why can't you just, Congresswoman, and it's, why can't you just, why can't you, I'm not calling you a racist, I'm telling you what the practice is racist. You are, you are, you are. Why no, what's disgusting is your disgusting. disrespect of her. Professor, this gentleman said, you know what, I you didn't know, what's know her disgusting name. Disgusting to women to is it. her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is. And if, if 25 years ago, white I women became, don't have the ability to tell black women who, who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years care ago, for your and 25 and years ago, I became the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. I fought my way through it. So pronounce her name right. Let me actually get her name right. Kamala Harris. If I Kamala, you said this when I called you Nancy. It's Kamala. Kamala. You're doing this on purpose, Congress. That's disrespectful. You can't expect people to respect your service if you don't respect her. If a man walked that stage 25 years ago, she would have said it here. She would have taken that achievement away from women. That's disgusting. Let me get in here because I want to play one more bit from Ellie's. Now you know it's bad enough progressives make outlandish and divisive claims like this, but it's somehow made even worse when the majority of them don't even have the convictions to believe it. It's clear to see that a lot of this is a grift and has been for a long time, and news outlets like CNN and MSNBC know that and profit from it. But on the bright side, I feel like people might finally be waking up a bit to all of this. The greed of these grifters has reached comedic proportions recently, and the market is oversaturated with people all trying to make a buck off of pushing the same victim narrative, which conveniently is creating a lot of opportunities for new media and content like Matt Walsh's new anti-DEI movie that recently cracked the top five in the box office to expose the hypocrisy and ridiculousness of all of this. But let me know what you think. Is our country finally starting to move on from all of this race grifting nonsense or is it going to be sticking around for the foreseeable future let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel that stuff really does help us out until then this has been nurk news thanks for watching bye